Algebra 1 EOC review. So now we're going to look at some systems of equations and inequality topics. So you're going to need your notes packet for this and then also you're going to need your Algebra 1 EOC pretest because we'll go back and forth between those two documents. <clears throat> All right, with the system of equations, solving by graphing, remember that the solution to a system is the point of intersection, so where the two lines cross, if indeed they do. All right, sorry about that, we are back. So to solve by graphing, the first thing you're gonna do, so number one, is to put each equation into y equals mx plus b form if it's not already. So you're gonna solve each equation for y. And then you're going to plot those equations um, using the b value and the slope, which we have talked about a lot. <laughs> so that is number two. And then number three, the last thing you'll do is you'll locate the point of intersection if they do intersect, and you will um, pick out the x and the y. So if you see the example that we're looking at, you can see these two lines that have been graphed, and <clears throat> our point of intersection or solution is the point negative three, negative four. All right, now let's talk about solving a system of equations using substitution. Again, we're looking for a point in x and y. So the first thing we do when we sub substitute by substitution, if you see my little number one, and then a number one over at the example, and you can do this on your notes. So label the directions, each with a number one, is you're going to solve one equation for y. All right, sorry, having a little technical difficulties. So then we'll take that value for y, which I've circled in red, and plug it into the other equation just for y. Notice I'm going to have to put it in a parentheses and then distribute that negative 3, which is done in the example, and then x equals 5. So then our third step is to take the value that you get for the first variable and plug it in to one of the original equations. So when we do that, we get y equals 3. So our solution is the point 5, 3. You can always check your solutions by plugging them into your equations. Now, you can also solve a system using elimination. So to solve using elimination, the first thing you do is you multiply one or both equations to get opposites. So notice in this example, if we multiply the top one by 2 and the bottom one by 3, we will get a negative and positive 6y. And then we can add those equations together to find our first variable, solve. So x equals 1. Then we take that value and substitute it into one of the originals. It doesn't matter which one to find our y value. And then we have our solution, our answer, which is the point 1, 2. Sometimes you'll have a nonlinear system. So it will consist of something other than two lines, maybe a line in a parabola or maybe just two parabolas. They'll be graphed for you already. All you need to do is locate the points of intersection. On our example here, circle those points. Notice that they are at 0, 1, and 1, 2. And so you would enter the solutions as both of those points. You're not looking at where the graphs are crossing the x or the y axis. You're looking at the graphs and where they cross each other. Now, go to number 27 in your EOC pretest packet. Always remember you can pause this video as we're working so you can catch up because I go through this pretty quickly. So the first thing is that we are not going to solve by substitution. We're going to solve by graphing. <clears throat> so in each of my equations, they are in y um, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to pick out my b value and my slope. So in my first equation, my y-intercept is 3 and my slope is negative 2. So I'll graph that, and I have quite a few points, and then I will draw a line. Now my second equation is uh, crosses at negative 2, and then has a slope of 1 over 2. So I'll go up 1 and over 2. I just have to watch my scale, because my scale is by 2's. And then when I do that, I can see that my two lines are crossing at the point 2, negative 1. Now, just to be sure, I can check. I can plug that x and y into both of my original equations and make sure that the left side matches the right side. 
So take a look and, and see what I did. Copy down that check step or at least do the same thing so you can understand it. That way you can always know if you have the correct point for your solution to a system of equations. Go back to your notes packet and let's do A together. So we're gonna solve A using substitution. So the first thing that I did is that I took my second equation and I solved for one of the variables. So x equals three plus y. Now I'm gonna take that value of x and plug it into my other equation. So when I do that, you can see that I will get y equals six. Then I'll take that value and plug it into my second equation. And so x equals nine. I can always plug that point into both my equations to check my solution. Now on B, we're going to solve using elimination. So I look, and if I multiply the first equation by 2, I can get opposite x values. <clears throat> now I have made a mistake in here, and look through and see if you can find it. I worked the problem, and then when I went to check my answer, I realized it was wrong. Do you see my mistake? It happened right at the beginning where I was multiplying by two. I failed to multiply that negative six by two. So here's my correction there. Now we'll just copy the second one and add those. I will get y equals positive four. And then I'll plug that in to my um, other equation, or e actually either one of the originals, um, to find out in this case, x. So my point is negative 2, 4, and then I can plug those x and y into both equations and see that they work in both of them. So checking is good. All right, go back to your EOC packet, write it number one. This is one of these nonlinear systems. Notice we have a parabola and a line. What are the solutions? So the solutions is simply where are those two graphs, so the curve and the line crossing. Make sure you do not choose the points that are on the x and the y axis. They're given to you to try to distract you. You want the two points where the curve and the line are crossing, so the point 410 and the point 7.75. C is your answer. All right, back to our notes packet. Let's talk about solving a system of inequalities by graphing and shading. So we have done this. Remember that we're gonna get each of them into slope intercept form. We're going to use dashed line if there's not an equal to mark. We'll use a solid line if there is. If we have greater than, we're gonna shade above the y-intercept, above the line. If we have less than, we're gonna shade below the y-intercept or the line. So look at the example here and let me talk you through it. <clears throat> the second equation is not solved for, or sorry, the first one is not solved for y. So the first thing we need to do is solve it for y, rewrite it. So we'll divide by 2, and then we have our two equations in slope-intercept form. We're going to graph them using the b values and the slopes. And then our first one is less than, so we'll be shading below. And our second one is also less than, so we'll be shading below that as well. And so back to that, our solution is that double shaded area. Back and forth we go. So now back to your pretest packet number 17. So we have these two graphs and we're going to locate um, which, which pair is graphed correctly. <clears throat> so we're going to pick out their slope and their y-intercept. But first of all, we're going to notice that the top equation will graph using a solid line, and since because it's an equal to mark, and since it's less than, the shading will be below the y-intercept. The second one, the mark will be dashed, and the shading will be above. So now we're going to find our slope and our b-value of our first um, line. And I noticed that the last two graphs, C and D, have that graphed correctly. Where it's crossing at negative 2, it has a positive slope of 2, but the shading is below the line, below the y-intercept. Now with my second um, inequality, 
I'm going to do the same thing, pick out my slope and my, my y-intercept. And then I'm going to look at the two graphs and notice that A and D are graphed correctly because it needs to be dashed and above the line. So that would be on that side. So since D is graphed correctly for both, then that is my solution and yours too. All right, we are at the end of the review for our systems of equations and inequalities. Once again, if you want extra practice, talk to your teacher, or um, you can Google any of these topics and get other practice problems.